and in upper middle management. Look, I think this is one of the great challenges facing the country is that it's easy for politicians to say we need to create jobs, but what kind of environment and strategies do we have to deploy in order to make sure that everybody's got a job, not just kids or people at the low end, but people who've put their time in and uh, in the workforce. And I think this is going to be one of the great areas of debate between the two political parties. And if I can just say one thing about the previous question, which is if you make $250,000 a year, you're in the upper 1% of all earners in the United States and I think for most people that would be seen as being wealthy compared to the 99 percent that are underneath the people making 250,000 a year. All right, Rick, here's a question for you. With a total of around 8,000 earmarks by uh, the House and Senate combined, where can we find a list of them if one even exists? That comes from Spencer Ensign in Yucca Valley, California. Well, it's a good question. You'd have to go through all the individual bills, as far as I know. But if they put these bills online, 72 hours, which was in the pledge by the Republicans, then you can have a lot of different groups that would go into the conservative groups. For instance, AEI, the Heritage Foundation, uh, Citizens for Waste, Fraud, and Abuse. They could then assemble those lists. Uh, but that's only going to happen if the bills are um, if the bills are up 72 hours, so we can get a, we can get you know uh, presumably thousands of people looking at the bills to make lists like that. Here's a, a question, uh, Peter, that we get quite a bit. It has to do with foreign aid. Carol in Corvallis, Oregon, wants to know, what's the percentage of the national debt given to foreign countries, and shouldn't this be a good place to start saving money for the American people? And then she adds the editorial comment, most countries just take our money and then slap us in the face anyway. Well, I, I don't know about slap us in the face anyway, but it is a very small percentage of our GDP, likely in the range of 1%, but I don't have the number in front of me. You want to cut the deficit? Consider this. In 2007, when Nancy Pelosi took over the House, the government was spending 19.6% of GDP. President Obama projects in 2011, with the recession over, it's going to be over 25 percent. And it's not two wars. We had two wars then, two wars now. And that 25 percent, you know, that's what the, uh, what the Bush tax cuts repealed. The deficit will be $1.3 trillion versus $161 billion. You know, let's put those two budgets side by side and say, what is the American people really getting for another, you know, $750 billion? And the answer is... Not much. All right. So I think we ought to go back to the 2007 budget. Simon, here's a question for you from Joe in Amity Harbor, New York. With all the talk about paying for the Bush tax cuts, who's paying for them now? Well, you know, I think this is, as I said earlier, this is going to be one of the great debates in the next few months, which is, you know, right now there's not a single Republican who ran for office anywhere in the country who has a plan to reduce the deficit over the next 10 years, because if you put in the Bush tax cuts, it means that you don't have enough spending to offset it. And so it is true. I mean, there's not a single Republican who just got elected who can reduce the well, deficit by a penny Paul, in the next 10 Paul years. Ryan. P Peter Paul just, Ryan Peter Ryan just said to a Paul Ryan's budget. Plan. Guys, Paul he, he Ryan's said he plan doesn't plan. reduce. He reduces, he reduces the deficit 50 years from now is when the deficit starts going if, down. If you on Paul asked Ryan's if he had plan. a plan, he has a plan, and I think he could accelerate Make that me plan. Budget director. His plan doesn't do it in the next 10 years, Give me guys. The budget Come on. Give me the budget director's job for either a Republican or Democratic <laughs> president, and I'm I'll get it you. sliced down in 90 days if the Congress will pass it. I can think of my own agency where play. Stuff ought to go out the window. <laughs> Peter, I think our viewers will vote you in. We'll, we'll see if uh, you get the gavel. I'm for Peter. I'm for Peter. Peter, Peter Maurice, Simon Rosenberg, Rick.